Dimasa Nopati is giving me the 80s and 90s rock cover awesomeness that I needed in my life. I initially checked him out singing Four Non Blondes What's Up, and now you guys brought to my attention that I should check out Better Broses by Bon Jovi, and uh, yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and dive right in. But before we do, this is the channel where we learn from some of your favorite artists. My name is Liza Quinn, just wanna say thanks for being here. Stick around to the end and we will go over some big takeaways and things we can learn from the performance. All right, let's do it. This song really suits him in so many ways. I mean, I loved the Four Non Blondes. This is a, a slightly different vibe, but where it sits for him and the hold on that chorus, love. Bass player, cool, cool ass dude. <laughs> I'm loving his vibe. But this, on a bed of nails. He's got a great control of how he uses his fry, how he compresses to sort of give it that little kind of narrowness, that edge, while still keeping it really pretty and clear. <laughs> Right? Where it's like he still allows the vibrato to come out. But then he's got this beautiful low end right here. Check it out. Oh, oh. There's like this nice little mm, the warmth that comes in right there that I really dig. And last but not least, before we continue, the harmonies are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, the blend that they have is fantastic. Their starts and finishes are so tight. They definitely did a vocal rehearsal. <laughs> For sure. And they, I don't know, at this point, you guys let me know in the comments below how long they've been singing together, but they feel like they really know each other well and they've got a great, great blend going. Um, beautifully executed, really nice. All right, let's pick it up. Well, I am so far away Step that I take on my way When some dies, if it's night, see through this paper. Still, I run off the time on this hard to get through till the bird on the wire flies me back to you. And I just close my eyes, Whisper, baby. My love is true. Yes. 
check out this solo from the top of that but I need to mention how well controlled he is and like I mentioned earlier if you're really paying attention to it now you can see how he really knows how to weave in and out that dirt that little grid the little that little rasp without it being kind of like overbearing and still allowing you to hear this purity in his tone so I might sound a little redundant but it's just it's really really pretty okay guitar solo let's do it something I'm gonna miss at the end here the look I would have missed the look I love these guys real quick before we dive into some takeaways I just want to read the comments it makes me happy seeing the younger bloods still playing the great rock classics <laughs> beautiful acoustic cover I'm sure Bon Jovi would be delighted absolutely the best cover bed of roses oh I love seeing all this love the backup vocals are insane classic yes I want to point out that one part uh what he does here let's find it here so you can break it down And to, to get that so precise, right? That, you know, that little da, 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 in time with him, that's important. And he does that beautifully. And of course the bottom here. I wanna be just as close as Holy Ghost is. Beautiful. 
I mean, that blend. And be just as close as... To have that control up there, keep that vibrato smooth, because I've talked about this before, you don't want a bunch of vibratos clashing, right? So to keep that smooth and nice and controlled and on pitch up there is not easy. And he does that really, really beautifully, so yes and props to both of them and on the bottom it's nice and smooth the texture is great because it's doing exactly what you want that bottom part to do which just just support right add texture it's exactly what it's doing it's so beautiful this rasp i just need to hear real quick <laughs> Okay, so it's on the C5. That's tricky because it, for, for me, it's like right on my break. So it would be a tricky place to be able to, but he's got a great sort of mix going. He's leaning into that compression. Where he's sort of like, ah, narrowing it up so you can kind of lean into it. The way he's got it, that placement and that technique is fantastic. I've said this before and I'll say it again. The vocal blend, the tightness in the harmony. It's not just about checking each other's vibratos and making sure you're nice and unified, but making sure that you're rounding out all the frequencies needed, that you've got that a great balance of highs and mids and lows, that your stops and starts are tight so you know each other like perfectly to just grab those and end them. And whoo, huge lesson we can learn by just observing how they're doing that here. I'm genuinely a fan. I wonder if I could get Dimas to sing a song with me one day. I would really be honored. <laughs> I want to do a rock song with him. That'd be fun. All right, guys. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Anything else that you can contribute in the comments is always so helpful. I learned so much from you. There are going to be some more videos popping up over here. If you want to watch my last Dimas reaction and breakdown, it's going to be right here over my shoulder. If you like my dress, rent it at thelimitlesscloset.com. Thank you guys for hanging out. I will see you next time. Bye.